Well, it has come to this. I've been told to have a print farm that money would have to be spent. Decisions made. And this one had a 4.7 star review. But I wasn't sold. For me, it wasn't about the money. Until I saw the review. Reality ships crap. Two stars. Gasp. This printer is terrible. This machine is not worth the price. Creality releases junk. Don't support it. Was I the kind of guy to spend $500 on a 3D printer just to prove a random review on the internet wrong? Here it is. The Ender 3S1 Pro. So far, no crap. It has a nice picture on the front in case you don't speak the native language, you know, from the land of where most electronics come from. This just says, 我在这台打印机上花了很多钱. Now, with surgeon-like precision, we opened the box. The assembly basically took me an hour, and I had this thing up and running pretty quick. A small child could basically assemble this pile of crap, so wasn't too hard to get this thing moving. But I'm kind of a big deal. This printer has an auto home feature, which will map out the Z offset or height to the base, and made leveling actually really fast. I had this printer leveled in minutes. Uh, I have many leather-bound books. After I perform the initial leveling, the machine will pretty much just be adjusted with the Z offset on the screen, so I decided to test the printer with the first print, a calibration cube. Cube 
came out pretty good. The quality was not bad. It was actually really clean and crisp. And then I printed some more stuff, and those parts came out pretty good too. So I printed some more, but in the back of my mind, I wondered when would the crap appear? I had been promised a pile of Creality garbage that would bring shame to the brand, and the 3D printing community would come for Creality with their pitchforks. So I asked myself, should I go bigger? Need I go harder? The answer is yes. But, according to our reviewer of the Ender 3 S1 Pro, any simple model would break this printer. So as for most things I need in life, I took to the internet, and I found it. From Thingiverse creator Isaiah comes his Mist Rocket. Is that really how you spell Mist? Come on, Isaiah. The model had three parts, which he clearly staged on the picture in his Thingiverse profile. So I downloaded the model and let Cura slice it for the printer. Yeah, this took some time to print these. present the mist rocket it's a horrible name for a rocket i'll say it but we had successfully printed the model and then i broke the nose but we'll fix that in post right guys and now we review the ender 3s1 pro with mitchell hey everybody longtime printer enthusiast here talk about my experience with the ender 3s1 pro I really like the light bar on the top. I would probably pay more to have it be LED, but it's a great feature. The extruder is really cool, really small for a direct drive. Everything's compacted nicely on the mount. It uh, comes with a uh, filament sensor, but I can pretty much tell when I'm low on filament, so kind of useless. But, you know, more features. Probably the coolest thing is the snack drawer that um, pulls right out of the base of the printer because 3D printing takes a long time and I get hungry. Reality takes 13 seconds from my life every time I turn on the printer because I have to show their logo. That time really adds up for me and my lifespan is significantly shorter now, so thanks Creality. This has been a review of the Ender 3 S1 Pro with Mitchell. Hey everybody, thanks for watching our video. Check out our links that are listed in the description of this video. If you like what we do here, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our main website. There may be an after credit scene. Who knows?